New at 10 tonight, compliments, complaints, and a lot of feedback. Yeah, Kelly, whatever you call it. If it, consumers want satisfaction, in fact, they're demanding satisfaction. Now, and that world, in fact, is changing for the better. Consumer reporter Chris Kamara tonight has an interview with an insider's view of a customer service revolution where you're more likely to get immediate attention. Forget the mailbox. Forget the phone. When today's consumers want action, they turn to social media. Because it's immediate. Jennifer Straw helps companies of all sizes spend big money, staking their claim on Facebook and Twitter. It's an extension of customer service. Look at the battleground. At home, a Fox employee posts about his Verizon cable box going dark. Competitor Bright House immediately pings him. Social media is our modern sounding board. So smart companies have dedicated staff taking part in the conversation. They are sitting there and just ready to respond when you say you're having a problem with their service. And right here, atop a shopping mall. We are open seven days a week. We found the people. An entire department, entire team. Behind those posts. I'm currently doing Twitter now. Publix took us backstage, granting us the first inside look. We work pretty fast. At its social media. We have six specialists on our team. Apparatus. We decided if we were going to do it, we are going to do it right. A half dozen college grads. Backgrounds in journalism and communication. Bounce back and forth. We usually alternate shifts. Manning Facebook and Twitter. We all have six hour periods that we're covering, Facebook or Twitter. For a cutting edge off. Tiana's calendar made us chuckle. You could say my old school calendar. A couple other things surprised us. Usually we have like rapid fire. Although we largely use social media by smartphones on the go, these professional tweeters are faster in an office using desktop computers. For us, it's more efficient to be directly on the platforms. On a computer? Yes, on a computer. With its hefty online footprint. We're getting really close to 2 million fans and have over you know, 40,000 followers on Twitter. Publix doesn't take chances online. There's a lot of strategy. It revealed that these posts, as simple as they might be, are carefully crafted and precision time. We plan it all out. New media can seem silly. However, these posts are born in some serious, old-fashioned meetings. All the creative juices are flowing. The curveball is customer feedback. It's pretty constant. It's the social media red zone. All hands, all hours. Because social media never sleeps. Twitter followers and Facebook friends demand immediate attention. Unanswered questions are a social media death sentence. So each public's team member has the latitude to individually reply in real time. We can answer you right there in the spur of the moment, and we like to do it. Interestingly, phone calls to Publix are answered right next to the social media squad, and that is no coincidence. By design, we are all under one roof. Either way, it's customer contact. This is what we do day in and day out. Probing posts. There are some very complex questions. Tantalizing tweets. Be spontaneous. And getting you results. Quick reaction. Giving consumers a new voice. Their voice is heard through us. Chris Camora, Fox 13 News. All right, so what's the best way to get a company's attention on social media? Well, here's what we're going to suggest to you. Be as specific as possible with names, dates, and locations. Keep your thoughts brief so they, uh, so they want to read your comments. Don't go on and on. And finally, leave the door open for them to respond.